Good morning and a very warm welcome to day five of the FEI Dressage European Championships for young riders and under 25 Grand Prix. Yesterday we saw our individual medalists crowned and today it is the turn of the freestyle with more individual medals being decided. First up is the young riders freestyle. We have a fantastic lineup for you. Here you can see the start loss, Leon Ashua and formidable India Derma, Mills, Mado Pinto, Felicia Simonsi, Rowena Vergagar, Anna Prochkova, Jessica McConkney, Tula Lynn Nater and Anna Middleberg are the first nine to come forward. Then we'll take a little break. And then in the second part, we'll see another nine come forward and they will include our medalists and you can see there Annabella Pidgeley she will be coming into the arena at 10.05 and then straight after Valentina Fisner she picked up the silver medal and then last to go is our bronze medalist Jana Lang and Baron very tight between her and Alexander Helgestrand so it is all to play for and it's going to be such an exciting competition. That all rounds up at 10.39 when the last rider goes in. And then this afternoon, we are back. Well, I should say actually this morning, 11.30, we'll be back with the FEI Grand Prix Freestyle for the under 25 riders. That runs from 11.30. And our final rider goes in at 2.26. Here you can see the judges that are sitting around the arena for this Young rider competition, Gabriella Valarova from the Czech Republic at E. Oliver Smeets at H for Belgium. Valentino Trupa for Italy at C. Elke Elbert for Germany at M. And Ava Vermeria Vint Wormington from Estonia at B. And already we welcome our first rider into the arena. It is Leon Ashua and Formidable for Austria. Formidable, formidable is a 14-year-old Hanoverian gelding by First Nymphenberg. Leon competed as a junior at the European Championships in 19, 2020 and 2019 and as a young rider in 2021 on this same horse. This is LK but from Germany at M and at P. This is Eva Maria Wind Warmington from Australia. Ranked 77. The first combination that made it to the freestyle finals. They finished 25th in the team competition the with 68.647. At the young riders. Equal 20th in the individual was 69.206. In Austria, Hungary, and here is Formidable, the Hanoverian Gelding by First Nymphenburg and Leon Aschauer, Austria. So, signals for the music to start. 
and we welcome our first rider into the arena for this FEI Dressage Young Riders Freestyle for the European Championships. It is Leon Ashua and Formidable. They're representing Austria. little bit of resistance there in the half pass to the right. Good ground cover there and the extended trot could just be a little bit softer over the back and just open up the frame a little bit more. Lovely relaxation here in the walk. Extended walk is a double coefficient. Collective walk isn't. Just choosing to add in these walk pirouettes. That will increase the degree of difficulty. Again, increasing the degree of difficulty by putting the flying changes on a circle. Keeping the floor plan nice and symmetrical as well. A little bit tight there in the counter pirouette. just looking like he's getting a little bit strong there 
did an early change for the rider, asked for it in the extended canter. And there we have it for Leon Ashua and Formidable for Austria. Leon Ashua and Formidable, first competitor. A great first rider race. in this young Free rider freestyle. So the score's coming in now. A little bit of tension, especially in that last bit of canter. The horse just looked like he got a little bit hot. And a few mistakes just crept in there, but it's a really lovely floor plan. Good degree of difficulty, I would say. The horse looked like he thoroughly enjoyed that. They were scoring 68 and 69% in the team test and in the individual. Obviously, today we've got the artistic marks to add to that. So the rhythm, energy and elasticity is one. Harmony is another. Choreography, use of arena and of inventiveness. And then degree of difficulty, calculated risks. And then finally, the music and interpretation of the music. You can see our next rider it's come into the arena already. But we will bring you the score for Leon Asher. And it is 70.290, technical marks of 68.1, and artistic marks of 72.48. But now into the arena for Great Britain, it is India Derman Mills and Escade. This is a 14-year-old KWPN gelding. It is her first year as a young rider. She's 19 years old. Competed last year as a junior. She's ranked 28th. And last time out, she competed at Wellington, finishing fourth in the team test and 11th in the individual. Here, though, she finished 18th yesterday in the individual championships with 69.265%. Had a score of 69.029 for a team bronze in that team test a few days ago. So the music starts and we enter... India, Derman Mills and Escade into the arena for Great Britain. Could just be a little bit more supple over the back in the lateral work, especially those shoulder ends. Choosing to use the three quarter line again, adding to that degree of difficulty.
nice ground cover there in the extended walk. Great relaxation. Really super changes. Plenty of air time, really covering the ground nicely there. Again, nice and symmetrical through the floor plan, so it's easy for us and the judges to follow. Just missed one of the changes there. That's a real shame. Just as she went straight down the three quarter line, just missed one of the threes. we have it for India Derma Mills and Escade for Great Britain. A super job well done from India, her first year as a young rider. They won the team bronze just a few days ago. A real shame about that line of three time changes. What she could have done, and it might be worth thinking about next time, is that final extended canter. She could have repeated a line and kind of used that as a bit of a joker because she did already have a, an extended canter. So that could be an option for the future and just to, to bear in mind. And that's the beauty of freestyle. You can change things as and when they happen. These riders haven't had to submit their floor plan beforehand and so they can change it on the spot. So scores are in and it is 71.075, it is 68.75 for the technical marks and 73.4 for the artistic. So that puts India Derma Mills in the lead now with a skade for Great Britain. Next competitor, 
Next in, we have a rider for the French team. It is Mado Pinto and Hot Fit Delegates. She's competed in seven European championships, two as a children. In 2015, was part of the bronze medal team. Competed as a young rider in 2018, 2019, 2021, and 2022. She's 21 years old. Last time she competed in Aachen, she scored 74.61 for fourth place in the freestyle. So coming in now for France, it is Mado Pinto and Hotbit Delegates. Super reach there in the trot half pass. She has a personal best of Just losing a little bit of activity here in the extended walk. I'd like to see a bit more of a march here in the walk. We need to be a little bit careful here of the rhythm in the collective walk. Looking a bit tight through the shoulder. Stakes there in the four time changes. Managing to be able to repeat those threes. Good thinking there from Mado Pinto 
just putting those in at the last minute. I don't know if that she meant to. Oh, and a break there in the half pass and the trot. So there we have it for Mado Pinto and Hot Bit Delegates. Some quick thinking there from Mado. Obviously, I don't know what her floor plan should have been, but really great that she managed to squeeze another line of three time changes. Some really nice work. Had that break, obviously, in the half pass to the right in the trot, which is a real shame. Some really lovely extended trot. Has a personal best score of 75.64% in her freestyle. And we have a score, it's 70.495 into second place at the moment for Mado Pinto for France. Technical scores of 68.15, artistic marks of 72.84. Mado Pinto and Orbi de la from France. The next uh, rider was starting to go to Europeans with the ponies time. And into the arena now. Austria. It's just another uh, rider for nice Austria. Sport it sport is Felicita Simonsi. Uh, She's riding Immelwards Iver. This year, a 10 year old KWPN uh, gelding by Ampere. It's her fourth Ima, European Championships, competed Ampere at three Pony Ima European by. Championships, and last year as a young rider, finishing fourth in the freestyle. He's had a good time here. Finished 13th in the team test with 70.794 and 15th in the individual 69.941. I really hope she's using the same music as last year because it was a personal favourite of mine. And it sure is the same. So into the arena now for Austria, it is Felicita Simonsi and Immerwurz Iver.
lovely reach in the half passes. A huge ground cover there in the extended trot. Just needs to be careful not to ride it a little bit quick. adding to the degree of difficulty putting those fours on a circle. And again the same here with the threes. Lovely activity here in the walk. Could just have a little bit more ground cover for the bigger marks. <laughs> a great finish i love the lyrics there i think she ran out of room at sea a good job well ridden judges just having a little chat I do really love that music. I think it fits so, so well. She's got a big smile on her face. Some really, really lovely work in the test. 
Just at times, I feel she just rides a little bit quick. Just needs to take a little bit more time and allow that expression to really come through. And I've said it a couple of times this week. It's that fine balance between power and relaxation. And today there was a lot of power, but I'd like to see it just softer through the body. It's looking like it's going to be a good score. Sixty-nine in the team, sorry, seventy in the team okay, test. Sixty-nine in the individual, and it's a seventy-five point one zero five in the freestyle. Into the lead, it's seventy-two point six five technical marks and seventy-seven point five six artistic marks. So that's into the lead for Felicita Simonsi and Emma Watts Iver for Austria. As we can see, it's uh, getting orange again all around. The next competitor from the Netherlands. Last year she was uh, part of the juniors team in Hartbury that took the second place. So coming into the arena is now, it is Rowena Vigla. And she is riding Don Pichot. It's her second European around. Championships, competed England as a junior Brazil. last year Lisa. at Hartbury. Finished 11th individually Lisa. and 7th in the freestyle. Ranked 22nd in the Young Riders. On the team silver last year. Last time out scored 72.075. The third place in the freestyle was in Gisterin. Fifteen year old KWPN Gelding by United. They finished 10th in the team competition, 71.676, and 14th in the individual with 70.324%. So into the arena now for the Netherlands. It is Rowena Vigela and Don Quichot. There's a best score there of 98.708. I don't think that's quite right. <laughs> I don't think anybody scored 98%. It would be lovely. have a little bit more bend through the body there in those trot half passes just like to see the horse a little bit softer over the back and out a little bit more in the frame Good line of fours. 
keeping it simple on the diagonal line. And that's the thing with freestyles, you've really, really got to think about what works for you and your horse. Sometimes you have to take risks in the things that you know you're really good at and you can make those risks and, and allow them to pay off. But sometimes actually it's not worth making the risk because if you're gonna do a really good line of changes on a diagonal line or on a center line or on a long side, but then you put them on a circle and it doesn't quite come off, you're actually better keeping it simple and still getting a good mark for those changes rather than making a mistake. Great medley of songs here. It is simply the best now. And down the final centre line comes Rowena Vagala and Dawn Kishou. She's very happy Dawn with her performance. Dawn Kishou from the Netherlands. A great medley of songs there, yeah, a bit of Elvis so Presley, a bit of Neil Diamond, a bit of Tina Turner. Just throughout the test for me, the horse was slightly sitting behind the vertical. You really want to see that nose on the vertical line. The pole at the highest point just lost some valuable marks for just not being in self-carriage. Scores starting to come through now. We can bring you those in just a few moments' time. score has been confirmed hopefully 
it'll be on your screen. You can see in the background there, 72.105. Into second for Rowena Vegela and Don Quisho for the Netherlands. Scoring 70.6 in the technical marks and 75.36 in the artistic. Here you can see the scores on your screen now. Scores ranging from 68.75 up to 74.25 for the technical. So next into the arena, it is a rider for the Czech Republic. It is Anna Prokhtakova and Prestemarkens Quattro. A 14-year-old Danish warm blood gelding by quarterback. Had a bit of a tough time in the team test. Finished 42nd with 66.382. Had a massive improvement up into the individual where they finished 17th with 69.441. her fourth European Championships, 18 years old, competed in ponies in 2019, 2020 and 2021, ranked 195th, last time out in Samarin, scored 72.525 for a win in the freestyle. So Anna Protsikova and Pei Marston's Quattro into the arena now for the Czech Republic. here in the trot on great reach in the trot half first. Just needs a little bit more ground cover here in the extended walk. Take that stretch down, yeah, better there. Better there towards the end of the extended walk. Just sometimes just comes up and braces himself.
Oh, it just fell out of the canter, going into the canter pirouette there. And adding degree of difficulty there, putting the threes down the centre line. Really got nowhere to hide there. And there we have it for Anna Protokova and Peter Markin's Quattro. A personal best score of 72.525. Some really lovely work in the test. Just that one mistake in the half pirouette left in canter. Just ask the horse to collect and to come back ready for the pirouette and just fell out of canter, unfortunately. Managed to get it back, but then it was quite a large pirouette. So we just wait for a couple more scores to be confirmed. And a big increase in scores from the team to uh, the, the individual. And now she's up to 70.425 into fifth place there for Anna. 67.65 technical marks, 73.2 artistic marks. So into fifth place at the moment for Anna Prochakova and Presta Markens Quattro. So next into the arena, it is another for Great Britain. It is Jessica McConkey and Lady Gaga, 14-year-old Danish warm blood mare by quarterback. She helped Great Britain pick up that team bronze just a few days ago. It's her fifth European Championships. Competed as a junior in 2018 and 2019 and as a young rider in 2021 and 2022. Last year it finished fourth in the individual and fifth in the freestyle. Competed Lady Gaga in all of those European appearances. Ranked eighth. Has had a good few days here. Finished 12th in the team competition with 70.941. As I said, helped pick up that team bronze. And then in the individual, she finished 13th with 70.53%. So 
are into the arena now. For Great Britain, Jessica McConkey and Lady Gaga. An impressive start straight into the three time changes on the centre line. That's not making a statement, I don't know what is. Some really great work in the canter. Could just walk a little bit more over the back here in the collected walk. Much better here in the extended. Good ground cover there. And lovely relaxation. reach in the trot half passes.
What a test from yes, Jessica McConkey and Lady Gaga for Great Britain. Big Pat's familiar. She's known to her friends. Great performance from Jesse McConkey. Fifth last year in the freestyle. Personal best score of So the score to beat to go into the lead is 75.105. But Jesse goes into second place, 73.865. Technical marks of 71.65 and artistic marks of 76.080. So into second place at the moment for Jessica McConkey and Lady Gaga for Great Britain. takes her now to the second place. And the young riders freestyle with Felicia Gassimanti still in the lead with 75.105. Next, Next up, up, we have a rider for Switzerland. Combination from Switzerland. It is Tallulah Lynn Nata and Kondo Unicall FRH. Plus for her country. Kondo Unico FRH is a nine year old Hanoverian stallion by Quanton Sprung. It's a sixth European Championships competed in the Children's Europeans in 2018 and juniors from 2019 all the way through to last year. Finished ninth and eighth individually last year. Ranked 117th. Competed this horse in 2022 at the Junior Championships at Hartbury. Last time out, scored 71.98 for second place in the freestyle. Into the arena now. For Switzerland, it is Tallulah, Lynn, Nata, and Kondo Unico FRH. Just a little bit unsettled into that first halt. with the connection there, a bit of head tilting.
nice there in the extended trots. Third one of the test so far, so it's really making the most out of those. Great ground cover here in the extended walk, really good over track, walking nicely over the horse's back, just the nose tipping a little bit behind the vertical. She just needs to encourage him to take that nose out a little bit more. Nice line of four time changes, just missed one of the threes in that last line that she did. She's got personal best score of 71. And there we have it for Tallulah, Lynn, Nata and Kwondo Unico FRH for Switzerland. As I said, a personal best of 71.98%. Just that mistake in that second line of three time changes that she put in. And as I said at the beginning, just a little bit of head tilting in some of the trot lateral work. Loving all these pop medleys though. Some really fun music that these young riders are using. I can tell you she's sitting just below her personal best. Still three more scores to confirm though. One combination left to go before the break and that means that we're nearly at the halfway stage of this young rider freestyle at the European Championships here in Pilistrasvalu. So nearly in this course for Tanula Linda and Grando Unico. 
just the one confirmation missing. So personal best of 71.98 and it's a new personal best 72.46% technical marks of 69.2% and artistic 75.52 so that goes into third place there for Tallulah Linnator and Kondo Unico FRH so now we move on to our first of the German riders it is Anna Middleberg and Blickfang HC helped win that team silver medal a few days ago. Anna Middleberg is 21 years old. It's her fifth European Championships. Competed in ponies in 2017, juniors in 2019 and 2020, and young riders in 2021. Has picked up three team golds, two team silvers, one individual gold, one individual silver. This is a 12 year old Hanoverian gelding by Bellissimo. They were 15th in the team competition, 70.471%. As I said, helped pick up that team silver for Germany. Very close behind Denmark. And then in the individual competition, they finished 9th with 71.412%. Last time out in Hagen, they scored 70.875 for ninth place in the freestyle. So in the arena now, the first competitor for Germany, it is Anna Middleberg and Blickfang HC. Lots of energy in the truck work. Maintaining that lovely uphill frame. And good reach in these half passes. Super ground cover in the walk. Just getting a little bit tight there in the collective walk.
a blip in the four time changes. I wonder if she can squeeze some more in. state there. Just not quite got the counting on point today. Just got a spare line here. As she comes down into the final halt and salute, it is Anna Middleberg and Blickfang HC. And Blickfang HC. Thank you, Anna. Just those mistakes coming in in the tempi changes today. It was 15th in the team competition with 70.471. Ninth in the individual. 71.412 personal best of 77.592 in this freestyle not sure she's going to get quite near that today the score to beat to go into the lead is 75.105 percent she is the final rider before the break So we just wait for the scores to come through. Next rider in is at 9.31 and here's a score Anna for Anna Middleberg and Blickfang HC. HC. She goes into third place in bronze medal position. Provisionally it's 73.505, technical marks of 70.85, artistic marks of 76.16. So that's a provisional third we are halfway through this young rider freestyle so just go into a short break now next rider in at 9.31 it is 1-4 Denmark we have all of our medalists in this second half but there you can see the score to beat 75.105 for Lister Simmons Lady Gaga and Jessica McConkey in silver medal position and Rowena Vekaga and Don Kisho in bronze medal position, 73.505. On second and Anna Middleberg from Germany on third. Sorry, Anna Middleberg is in third now. So some super scores there. Join us back in just a few moments time for the second half. 9.31, the next starting time here in this uh, Young Riders Freestyle, the final of the Young Riders Tour at the European Championships 2023.
So, ladies and gentlemen, it continues. The final of the Young Riders European. Welcome back to the second part of this Young Rider Freestyle here at the European Championships. Nine horse and rider combinations to come forward. The score to beat is Felicitas in the sex. Emma Wertz Iver, 75.105. They are in gold medal position at the moment for Austria, but in the arena now we have a rider for Denmark. It is Sophia Lugvinson. It's her third European Championships competed as a junior in 2021, winning a team bronze, young rider last year, winning a team silver on this same horse. And then it was, of course, part of the gold medal winning team. Just a few days ago, finished fourth individually in the team test with 73.118 and then finished sixth in the individual test with 73.206. Into the arena now, it is Sophia Lovinson and Blue Horse Elliot. Lovely there in the shoulder in. This horse just nine years old. Last time out in Hagen, they scored 78.850, the third in the freestyle. Good activity here in the collective walk.
lovely in the stretch, good over track. Lost a bit of connection into the transition into canter there. Just got to be a little bit careful of the connection again, just at times we can see the horse slipping behind the vertical. Lovely in those four times. Beautiful three time changes. Those lines of tempo is a real highlight for this combination. So there we have it for Denmark's Sophia, Sophia Lugvidsen and Blue Horse Elliot. Our first combination for Denmark in the arena this morning. A lovely test from this pair. Their personal best 79.15%. Just for me at times, just came behind the vertical a little bit and was losing some valuable marks for that. I'd like to see a little bit more self-carriage with that nose just out, even just an inch, it makes all the difference. The end of the world was to was uh, ended up at the sixth place yesterday. So I remember the score to be 75.105 and to get into the medals, 73.505. It's looking like it's going to be a good score. Not quite up with her PB of 79.15. The highlights for sure were those lines of tempi changes. So here's a score, 76.485 into the lead of for Sophia Lugvidsen and Blue Horse Elliot. Technical marks of 73.45 and artistic marks of 79.52. At the 
75.375 total score and the lead by now 76.485 for Sofia Ludwigsen and Blue Horse Elliott. Coming into the arena now, it is another rider for the Netherlands. Robin Hyden and Gas Monkey, a 12-year-old KWPN by Jusinski. This pair have been very consistent over the last few days. 71.118% in the team test. 71.471 in the individual. Finishing 11th in the team test and 8th in the freestyle. The Dutch team at the Young Riders. Robin has been to four other European yeah. Championships, won two Team Silvers and one Team Bronze, competed in Ponies in 2019, Hello. Juniors in 2020 and 2021, and Young Riders last year. She's ranked sixth. Last time out, competed in Arken where she scored 72.365 for ninth place in the freestyle. Let's go into the arena now for the Netherlands. It is Robin Hayden and a gas monkey. nice in the trot work just maybe a little bit quick in the tempo in the extended trots good ground cover there though and lovely reach in the half pass and super ground cover here in the extended walk
some nice steps in the canter pirouette. Just got a little bit high in the connection. Lost a bit of throughness and a mistake there in the line of four times. needs to be careful it's not quarters leading there in the counter half pass better there in the threes. Again, another mistake in that line of four time changes right at the beginning. So coming into her final halt, it is for the Netherlands, Robin Hyden and Gas Monkey. Robin Hyden, Gas Monkey, thank you well. A um, real shame about those changes. Oh, and a happy birthday to Robin. What a way to spend your birthday competing at the European Championships. for your birthday today. So just waiting for those marks to come through. As I was saying, a shame about those mistakes in the two lines of four time changes. Same mistake in both lines unfortunately The scores are in. It is 73.105 into fifth place for Robin Hyden and Gas Monkey. Technical marks of 70.65 and artistic marks of 75.56. The total score 73.105 for Robin Hyden and Gas Monkey. Next in the ring is a combination from Sweden, part of the brass and metal team last year in Hartbury for the Young Riders. Here is 
So next into the arena, it is a rider for Sweden. It is Hedda Thunberg and Diva. They finished eighth in the team test for, with 71.912 and 11th in the individual with 70.941. Hedda's 21 years old. It's her second European Championships. It rode as a young rider last year for Team Bronze and 10th in the individual and freestyle, ranked 9th. So starting their test now for Sweden, Hedda Thunberg and Diva. Really lovely bend through the body there in the half passes. Beautifully fluent. Could just take that stretch down and out a little bit more there in the extended walk. Just a little tentative. Such beautiful reach in the half passes. Just for me in the trot, the mare just drops the pole slightly and the judges will want to see the pole at the highest point at all times. And she just goes over a tiny bit. Manages to keep on the vertical most of the time though, which is good to see. Sometimes things like that are quite difficult confirmation wise to get right. And this horse does have quite a, a nice big round neck. So a little bit more difficult for the rider to get the pole up. Seems to be careful of the straightness down the long side there in the extended canter, just at times bringing the quarters in slightly. And a 
again there at the end of the half pass. And there we have it for Hedda Thunberg and Diva for Sweden. Hedda Thunberg and Diva from Sweden. Thank you. Mistake in the four time changes, unfortunately, just got a little bit mixed up with the counting. But some really nice work through the test. Gorgeous in those half passes, especially in the trots. Such lovely reach. The score's just taking a little bit longer to come through today. The riders haven't had to submit their floor plans ahead of time, so the judges just need to work their way through putting the scores into the system. Once they're all in, that's when we can bring you the score. A personal best of 75.92 So we're just waiting for one more score to be confirmed The score and gold medal position is 76.485 and Hedda Thunberg finishes in provisional sixth place 72.825 technical marks of 70.25 artistic marks of 75.4 so into sixth place at the moment six horse and rider combinations still left to go So we have combinations from Denmark, from Great Britain, from Germany so and from the Netherlands Hester, still to come. It is Frederik Graham Jakobsen and Rivang Savina for Denmark in next, a 13-year-old Danish warm blood by Blue Horse yeah, Zach. Finished sixth in the team test, 72.647. Helped win Denmark, win the team gold. Finished seventh in the individual with 71.559. Nice and consistent over the days. Frederic's 20 years old. This is her sixth European Championships. Competed in ponies, juniors and young riders. Won three team silvers, two team bronze and now has a gold medal to add to that. Ranked fifth. Competed in Hagen last where she was fifth in the freestyle with 76.958%.
So she raises her hand for the music to start. So into the arena, we have Frederick Graham Jakobsen and Ryvang's Safina. Lovely cadence in the trot work. Super activity. Really interesting movement there with the extended trot going into the half pass. Again, all movements like that really contributing to the degree of difficulty. to watch the balance there in the canter pirouettes. Just going a little bit onto the forehand. Great relaxation there in the walk. Again, lovely stretching.
So there we have it for Frederick Graham Jakobsen and Rybang's Sabina for Denmark. A lovely Rydberg test Rydberg from Graham this Jacobsen combination. Safina, Denmark. Nice and consistent through the frame in the test. Lovely and soft over the back, really good in the walk. Good in the two lines of tempi changes as well. Scores coming through thick and fast as the next horse is already going around the outside of the arena. Sorry, I apologise. She's not. I thought she was coming in. <laughs> so one more score to confirm. Score to beat 76.485 in gold medal position at the moment. Her teammates, Sophia Lugvidson and Blue Horse Elliot. In silver, Felicita Simonsi for Austria on 75.105. And Jessica McConkey yes, uh, and Lady Gaga in amazing. bronze. No, but not anymore. Uh, it is Frederick Graham Jakobsen and Rivang Safina in silver medal positions 75.61. Technical marks of 72.9. And artistic marks of 78.32. But now we move on to our double medalist. She picked up the gold medal just yesterday in the individual European Championship here in Pidesdasvalu, Hungary. She has won two team bronzes, three individual silvers, one individual bronze, and of course adding to that medal tally, that gold medal, our new European champion competed through ponies in 2018, 2019 and 2020 then competed as a junior the last couple of years won a bronze and a silver on this horse last year last time out was in Arken where she won the freestyle on 78.62% has won the past two days won the Team test was 75.147, helped win that bronze medal for Great Britain, and then won the individual test on 76.941. This girl is on fire. It is Annabella Pidgeley and Espy for Great Britain. Break that just lost the rhythm in the extended trot and then broke into canter. The first mistake we've seen all week from this young rider. Taylor Swift.
good relaxation here in the extended walk. I think she's a little bit ahead of her music. Super three time changes. Yeah, definitely just a little bit ahead of her music. There's been quite a few riders that have had that same problem today. Beautiful test there from Annabella Pidgeley and SB for Great Britain, our European gold medalist from the individual. Can she make it a double gold? She broke history for Great Britain, the first individual gold medal that has ever been won for their country. This didn't feel to me quite as polished as her individual test was yesterday. Obviously, we saw that mistake in the extended trot earlier on. We are in the last to group in this competition. The best her personal best is 78.62. She was on gold position yesterday. Standing at the top of the podium. Some really lovely music. I thought that matched the horse beautifully. So, we have a score. It is a personal best. 80.505 into gold medal winning position. 76.65 technical marks and 84.36 artistic marks. Absolutely fantastic score. That is now the score to beat. We have some great combinations still to go, though. Who knows what can happen? But congratulations to Annabella Pidgeley and SB4 Great Britain. The new score to beat, 80.505.
gold medal. So now we move over to Germany. She had a silver medal and yesterday. it is and Valentina Fissner for Germany and flamboyant OLD. Two days ago. Here is the flamboyant. A 15-year-old Oldenburg gelding by Fieder Tans. This is her fourth European Championships. Ridden this horse at every championship she's been to. Won two team golds, two team silvers, three silvers individually, one individual gold and two individual bronze she won the silver medal behind Annabella Pidgeley in the individual yesterday with 75.559%. Help win Germany, the team silver, with a third place with 73.559%. Into the arena now, Valentina Fissner and flamboyant OLD for Germany. Beautiful there in the extended trot. Enormous ground cover, tracking up beautifully, extending the frame. Really lovely. Great rhythm in the walk, lovely ground cover, has a personal best of 76.917. ground cover there in the extended canter super lines of tempi changes
So coming down the centre line now for Germany. It is Valentina Fisner and Flamboyant OLD. What a test, what a finish. A fantastic job from this combination. They were our silver medal winners yesterday in the individual competition with a score of 75.559, just behind Annabella Pidgeley. Can they pick up another individual medal today? Their personal best, 76.917 in this test. Really lovely in those lines of tempi changes, super extended trot. We can even see a nine on the test sheet for that. Great reach in the half passes. It's going to be close. The score to beat, 80.505. I can confirm she does have a personal best. We just wait for one more score to be confirmed. And it is into silver with 78.85, another personal best. Technical marks of 75.3, artistic marks of 82.4. A fantastic job from Valentina Fissner and flamboyant OLD for Germany. Still three more combinations to go, including our bronze medal winner. Next up, we have another rider for Denmark. Three competitors left. On our starting list. This is Alexandra de Halgostrand. He's 20 years old. It's his sixth European Championships. He rides Belantis, a 14 year old in the last year's stallion by Benetton Green. Dream, sorry. This year. Scored 77.735% for second second place in the freestyle in Arken. Is ranked fourth. Helped to pick up that team gold in the team test a few days ago. He clung on to bronze medal position for such a long time in the individual. And then Annabella Pidgeley came in just at the last minute and pipped him off the podium. Those two really are such a power couple in the Young Riders. Scored 72.853 in the team test for fifth place and fourth in the individual for 73.529. So in the arena now for Denmark, Alexandra de Helga Strand and Belantis. just do with a little bit more bend through the body I said this actually in his individual test just at times and you can see in the corners as well it doesn't really bend or flex the horse through the corners nice there though in the shoulder in and there you can see just quite straight through the body
Love the over track in the walk. Taking a good stretch. Music from Robbie Williams. Bit of swinging in those four time changes. They do cover so much ground though. This horse is beautifully expressive. Losing a little bit of the connection there in the counter curl right to the right. Oh, just a mistake in the threes. First mistake of the test. That was really unfortunate. Well, he's certainly entertained us. It is Alexander de Helgostrand and Belantis for Denmark. Denmark. Just that little mistake in the changes. Plenty of eights coming through from the judges. Just for me, I'd like to see a bit more softness over the back and more flexion in the corners, more bend through the body in some of the lateral work. But this horse has so much expression, so much ground cover. What will happen today at the freestyle? So he sat in bronze medal position for a very long time in the individual, as I said, and then Annabella, his girlfriend, just knocked him off the podium and took that gold the score to beat 80.505 for gold 78.85 for silver and 76.485 for bronze his personal best is 79.65 percent he's looking very close to that My goodness, it's tight. This is going to be a nail-biting finish. Just waiting for one more mark from one of the judges. 
to determine where he's going to go into. He's definitely going into a medal position. And one more commitment missing, so we have it up then. And I can confirm it is a new personal best. His old personal best, 79.65. It is a new personal best. Oh, and it's just slipped down to below his personal best. Oh, my goodness. This is nail biting. Oh my goodness, it is so close. He goes into silver 79.645.05% point, off of his PB. 76.25 technical marks, 83.04 artistic marks into silver medal position behind Annabella Pidgeley and Espy. Wouldn't it be great to see those two on the podium together? So, Alexandra de Helgestrand and Belantis for Denmark into silver medal position. So two riders left to go. That means that Annabella Pidgey is guaranteed a medal today. Next up, we have a rider for the Netherlands. It is... Shanabar's... And Farzana G, a 13-year-old KWPN mare by Ampere, finished ninth in the team test with 71.706 and finished fifth in the individual 73.265. She's 21 years old. It's her third European Championships. Competed as a junior in 2020, picking up a team bronze. Rode this horse last year in the Young Rider Championships. It is Farzana G. Last time out, scored 75.167 for a win in the freestyle. Ranked 11th. So into the arena now for the Netherlands, Shanna Bars and Fosanna G for the Netherlands. Nice into the shoulder and just needs to be careful of the connection. A little bit of a head tilt. And again there a little bit at the end of the half pass. Just a little bit tentative in the walk rhythm in the collective walk. 
personal best score in the freestyle of Oh, mistakes there. Coming in for the four time changes. Well, she certainly went for that. Plenty of power in the extended counter. Nice there in the threes. And she's got a chance to repeat those fours. Beautifully ridden. Could have just a little bit more ground cover there in the extended walk. There we have it for Shanna Bars and for Zana G. They are representing the Netherlands and she is very, very happy with that test. Lots and lots of pats for Fazana G. <laughs> She's absolutely ecstatic. Just a small mistake in her first line of four time changes, but luckily got the chance to repeat those. A real highlight for the test was for sure those three time changes the lovely canter half passes as well. She has a personal best of 75.367. That would be enough to put her into sixth place. Just waiting for one more judge to confirm their score. She is very close to her personal best. So to break into the medals, the score to beat is 78.850. That's bronze at the moment and silver at 79.645. And Annabella Pitchley's score at the moment in gold is 80.505. Then we have the scores for Shanna and... 
just one more combination to go and it is one for Germany. It's our individual bronze medalist. So we have a score in. It is a new personal best for Shanna Bars of 76.145. Into fifth place, 73.45 technical marks and 78.84 artistic marks. She finished fifth yesterday in the individual, ninth in the team test. But now we move on to Germany, and it is Jana Lang and Baron. She is last to go. She picked up the bronze medal. 74.059 in the individual helped win that silver medal for Germany in the team test. She was second individually in that test with 74.382. So a definite medal contender. You can also confirm now that Alexander Helgestrand has definitely confirmed a medal. Anna Bella Pidgeley, the minimum she can get is a silver. And Alexander, the minimum he can get is a bronze. All depends on what this lady does today. It is Jana Lang and Baron for Germany. She's won five team golds, one team silver, three individual bronze. And beaten in 2023 until she came here and last scored 83.5 for a win in this freestyle test in Hagen. lovely start to the test so far great reach in these half passes and so much cadence in the trot Nice ground cover and the extended walk. Beautiful uphill transition into the canter. Oh, interesting. I like that. Split the walk up with a canter pirouette. Again, all movements like that adding to the degree of difficulty.
Just lost a little bit of the balance there at the end of the half past six zag. And there we have it for Germany's Jana Lang and Baron. What a test. What a performance, that extended canter down the centre line. I think the judge at sea must have had quite a few scares today, actually. A lot of extended trots and a lot of extended canters towards him. One silver, one bronze. She won a silver in the team test and a bronze in the individual. She finished second in the team test and third in the individual, both with 74%. Last time out, she scored 83.5% in the freestyle in Hagen. Until she came here, she was unbeaten this year. Our last combination in this young rider freestyle. Can she pick up another medal? To get into the medal, she needs to overtake her teammate Valentina Fisner and Flamboyant OLD. They sit on a score of 78.85. To go into silver, it is to beat 79.645. And gold, 80.505. I can tell you it's very close between her and Valentina Fisner. I think it's going to be a battle for bronze. Just one more judge to confirm their score. One more. And it's still Honestly. going up. So we can get to the final results in this Young Riders test. Scores have been confirmed and it's a bronze for Jana Lang and Baron. 78.92%, technical marks of 75.4%, artistic marks of 82.44%. So a bronze for Jana Lang and Baron for Germany, but it's gold for Annabella Pidgeley and SB4 Great Britain, double gold for Annabella, 80.505. And in silver, it is Alexandra de Helgestrand and Volante, 79.645. And a bronze for Jana Lang and Baron with 78.92%. Two bronze medals for Jana. A gold and a silver for Alexander and a bronze and two golds for Annabella Pidgeley. So just setting up for the medal ceremony now where we will see those three medalists come forward to pick up their amazing medals. But huge congratulations to our 18 combinations that have come forward for this freestyle today. Here you can see the final standings. So, so close at the top. What a thrilling competition this has been.
can't believe it. it's already day five and we've just got one class left it is of course the under 25 grand prix that starts in just a few moments time starts at 11 30. So just getting ready to bring you the prize giving for the young rider freestyle here at the European Championships in Pilistasvalu, Hungary. You can see the riders there in the background just preparing.
As I said, we've got the under 25 Grand Prix freestyle starting at 11.30 local time. That's 10.30 if you're in the UK. So make sure you join us for that. The top 18 combinations coming forward. So we welcome our riders into the arena for the prize giving of this European Championships Young Rider Freestyle. What a fantastic class it was, nail biting to the very, very end. But we saw some incredible performances from our young riders. And here they come to collect their medals along with their grooms who deserve so much recognition. If it wasn't the, for the people behind these riders, they wouldn't be where they are today. And that's just not just the grooms, but all of their supporters, the saddlers, the nutritionists, the physios, every single person that has such a major Part to play with getting these riders to where they are. Riders. Please unmount and stand so the riders will unmount and stand behind their podium.
The presentations are made by the presentation is made by Ari Yomtov, who runs this fantastic showground. President of the Grand Jury. The home of Nations Cups and of course these youth championships third and winner of the bronze medal it is germany's jana lang and baron with 78.92 percent congratulations jana double individual bronze and a team silver for jana this week and the bouquets are given by Mr. Ari Yamtov, representing the organizing committee. Second. In silver medal position, it is Alexander de Helgestrand and Belantis for Denmark with a score of 79.645%. He picked up team gold just a couple of days ago and now an individual silver as well. But of course, the gold medal, she won a bronze medal in the team test and a gold medal yesterday. And it's another gold for Great Britain's Annabella Pidgeley and Espy with a score of 80.505%. What a week for this young lady. What a week for British dressage. Absolutely fantastic results. Huge congratulations to all of our medalists, but now we stand for the national anthem of Great Britain. Medal winners country, Great Britain. Congratulations to our three medalists, Annabella Pidgeley, Alexander Helgestrand and Jana Lang. As we take the pictures and they do their lap of honour. What a fantastic competition this Young Riders competition has been. Brilliant from start to finish. But we are back in around half an hour's time for the start of the under 25 Grand Prix freestyle, where we will crown our new European freestyle champion for that. So I'll leave you to enjoy the rest of this prize giving, but congratulations to Annabella Pidgeley, Alexander Dihagostrand and Jana Lang. So now, ladies and gentlemen, as all riders are mounted, let us celebrate the gold, silver and bronze medal winners at the lap of honour.
She goes with one bronze and two gold medals. Next uh, competition starts at uh, 11.30, about uh, one half an hour ago. The decision for the gold, silver and bronze medal for a U25 freestyle. Paints my reality 